Hey everyone, this is Jason with Beyond Bonsai Studios. And today we're going to be going through a wiring tutorial on how to wire uh, the primary, secondary, and tertiary branches on this small Chinese elm bonsai. Thank you. This is a 1.5 gauge wire and I'll be feeding it through the bottom of the pot up through the drainage holes, anchoring it around the trunk. We make sure that the length of wire we have here separated is going to be enough to go flat on the bottom of the pot like a U like this because we have our drainage screen on the bottom. Feed it through those two drainage holes and then we're going to um, meet at the base of the trunk, twist here, all right, so, so that I could just stick the wire through the soil and the roots up into the trunk. Okay, so at this point we're going to straighten the apex of our trunk and make sure it's centered in the middle of the pot so we can get a good structure on the tree and make sure everything is nice and balanced. So I'm going to go ahead and pack that down. Okay. So now here on this side, we're going to secure the base of the trunk with this thicker gauge wire by making a single twist. All right. So we've anchored our tree and cut off the excess wire. And we'll hide our wire a little bit with our soil. Use the soil in the pot here, just to cover it up a little bit there. Okay, now we'll take our length of wire, and since it's these two primary branches that we're going to be wiring, um, we will secure this length of wire, which um, is, as you can see, about the length, a little bit longer than the length of the two branches themselves giving enough length to make a, a circle around the trunk to secure the wire. So what we're going to do is we'll make a little U. One millimeter or 1.5. Either one will work. So now, after we've secured that part of the wire around the trunk, we'll go ahead and wrap the wire around the base of the primary branch. We're basically making an anchor at the base of the branch. And then cut off the excess wire. Now we'll go ahead and start on the next branch, which is over here. Again, create a little anchor on the base of the branch. And then wrap the wire around the branch 
at a 45 degree angle throughout the length of the branch. Once again, we'll just cut off the excess wire. All right, so we've been moving our, our tree around in its pot, so I'm gonna recenter the apex a little. Um, this is gonna be the front of our tree here, facing you at now. Um, so we're gonna move this branch closer to you and this one's going to go back closer to me and we're both we're going to give both of them a little bit more movement meaning we're going to give them a little bit more of a bend so they have more curvature um, we're going to also follow the patterns of the other branches which go down so we'll follow that pattern so this branch is going to go forward and down to give it more movement and then on the bottom we'll give it a nice little curve upwards the curved lines are always more appealing to the eye than straight lines. So in bonsai, it always helps to create a little bit of movement on your primary branches um, versus just leaving them straight off the trunk. You can also use this to create more balance on your tree. And just a side note here, you might be looking at this tree and saying, gosh, why is it so overgrown? Why does it look so shaggy? Well, in order to get good, thick branches um, that will ramify and be able to go into secondary and tertiary, meaning your second and third sets of leaves, you have to let the branches grow up very long. And the most important thing uh, is that at the base, the wood has already begun to harden, that it's thick enough and that it's hardwood. Um, once it's, it's the desire, your desired thickness for that branch, you can go ahead and cut it back. But I'm going to get a little bit more into ramification and deciduous branch structure. In the follow-up video when I restyle this elm, we'll do a little bit of, uh, I'll do another video specifically about trimming and deciduous branch structure. And you'll see that these will be uh, much much longer but the base of that branch will have gotten much thicker so now we're going to take our thin gauge wire and we're going to wire some of our secondary and tertiary branches to create some more movement for instance if I want to to give these two branches in here coming off of the branch the primary branch that we wired with our thicker gauge wire, I will secure our thin gauge wire here in between the two branches. Okay, now that I've wrapped the wire around the length of the branch, I'll cut off our excess wire. Yeah, we'll fix that cross branch here and we'll begin to make some padding in the foliage there so that we can start making those deep pockets of foliage. So we're beginning to develop our branch structure on our tree. Um, I'm going to also give some movement to these branches here. That instead of going back and up that way, we're going to move them here so that they properly ramify out of the primary branch. And same with the branch on the side here. So we'll go ahead and curve that. And 
again, we can begin to create paths.